What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B Hot Radio Show. They're stepping in the building. I got a legendary crew of fellas that's been tearing up the streets for some years off in this thing. I'm talking about the Pimp Squad Click. What what's what's good with it, fellas? What's, what's good with it? Hey, man, first of all, you know, y'all don't understand how much my heart was warm <laughs> when I found out that the Pimp Squad was getting back together, okay? You, see what I'm you know, the Pimp Squad, they came across. Around the time in my life, man, I was just getting out of high school and I needed some shit to ride to, okay? <laughs> okay. And uh, that PSC in the streets hit the streets hard as hell, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. First of all, just answer me this, man. What was it that brought the team back together right now? The thing I don't understand is the back together part. Yeah. Break it down to me. I Forgive mean, we, me. Nah, it's all good. Nah, no, no, no harm, no fire. But I mean, yeah. we never, we never disbanded. A, it just some of us. Continued doing music and others decided to not do music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't never, we still kicked it and still called and still was. Hung out it. all that. Yeah, exactly. A you know big I mean? old unit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It just, the, 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 the actual act of doing music collectively mm -hmm. together. Okay. And it wasn't, it was just the first time somebody asked it, the first time we, it happened. Okay. So then I got to go straight to Mac with this then. Okay. I mean, Mac. How are you feeling during this time then? Because, I mean, did they have to dust you off or was you already <laughs> going? Well, to be honest, uh, I had been working on music okay. uh, on the side with a couple of other artists, uh, building some things. But, I mean, the original, ain't nothing like the original team. That's you right. see what I'm saying? So I always kept my blade pretty sharp. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I just, it wasn't out yet. I mean, Switch, going crazy right now as we yeah. speak, man. I mean, it's good to hear some new music bumping out here in these streets, fellas. Mm, oh, yeah. I mean, can y'all talk to me about, you know, putting this new project together and what it's been like as far as the camaraderie, cranking this thing up. Country, what's happening? Hey. Come on hey. in now. Just work Bubble out. Bubble Bentley, he can't fit through there. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> you leave. Yeah. You got to come out. Leave. Right under the leg. <laughs> 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 The wide lane. Yeah. <laughs> truck stop. Everything, everything look big to him. You understand? You know how I go, man. Big truck stop. Well, you, <laughs> you know, when you've been a Smurf all your life, you know, everything looks <laughs> big. You know, <laughs> pop a Smurf to you. Nigga said, they said, put pop on that. Man. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, pop a Smurf <laughs> to you, mother. <laughs> okay. Break down this chemistry there, man. I mean, when the fellas got mm -hmm. together in the gym and started working out again, was the vibe still the same as it was when y'all was some young ass niggas cranking this thing up? Well, who want to speak? You want me to speak? I think, I think, Turn it to you, yeah. I, I think that um, everybody was still in their, you know, so, same same shell that they was in, you know, when we yeah. first started out. You know what I mean? Matt got serious balls, Tip got balls, Country got big balls and hooks and flavor, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like it, it, we were just back on track. You yeah, know? yeah. What I, we, think, I think the main thing to me, I believe, is kind of beat selection. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Because I think uh, Country kind of got a, he got a new age ear. Like, mm -hmm. he, 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 and Dro too, you know, they put me and Mac, we kind of go with the more old school UGK kind of yeah. type. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. DJ Toompa shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That with we, you. So, you know what I'm saying? It's really a collection. It's a perfect blend of of, of both mm -hmm. uh, eras. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, did y'all get Toompa in this thing, man? I mean, what's going on? Yeah, Toompa in them. Yeah, yeah, you know. Definitely. You know, one of my favorite PSC Toompa songs is that Steel Country. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can y'all speak to me about Country this? Country stole that right beat there. for me. Nah, nah. Oh, Country stole that beat for me. Nah, nah. Country stole that beat Throw that beat for you. Tell them yes. calm down. It ain't happening like that. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> I, I used to stay up the street from uh from uh Toon. I walked up there one day. I think I think it was when his dad died. Mm. So we was just sitting in the house and I was looking at all the albums. Yeah. And I was like, who is this? He was like they had independent people back then. Yeah. I said, put this on. And that. I said, make a beat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Tip was up at Eagles Land. I, I played that shit. He said, 
Oh yeah, we about to make this PSE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that two two comments. Man, I was gonna make that beat for you, man. And then country came over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, it's too crazy, right? <laughs> nah, nah. I, I mean, everything happened. I, I believe in I believe in the universe, divine order. So I think all things happen as they should. Mm -hmm. You did, and she, we, we we proud to be a part of it, however we can be. Exactly. I mean, the Pimp Squad click though, man, putting it down for the town early on, cause see. Also, y'all came around at a time to where y'all had to be trailblazers at the same time. To oh, be coming sure. out of the Dungeon Family, Booty oh, yeah. Shake was no more, and we was in a space to where, okay, where we about to go with this music. Right. I would it's, like to say I don't never think Booty Shake went nowhere. Well, no. I, don't, <laughs> I don't never think it went nowhere. Well, I'm talking about the old school Booty Shake. Now, it, oh, it turned into the Yin Yang Twins. That was a right. whole different vibe with the Yang all together, too, with them boys. Yeah. Yeah. But as far as the goddamn, you know the... Talking about the Yeekin. Yeah, the Yeekin, when you can Yeekin that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, but Raheem the Dream. Know. Raheem the Dream, exactly. I think still was dropping shit, wasn't it? When Raheem still dropping shit? Yeah, Raheem, Raheem all Raheem, 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 still dropping shit to this damn yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. no, man. The PSC. Well, I, I won't talk about it. Okay, well, but y'all came through this bitch laying the smack down. Did y'all feel like this team was gonna goddamn crank this bitch all the way up when y'all started, or was it just something that, you know what, we gonna give it our best shot and whatever the fuck happens, happens? Nah, I, I, I knew. Talk to me, man. <laughs> I pretty much knew. I knew because of the previous things that we were doing to yeah. like get ourselves in a position to actually do this. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I felt it. We always knew that Tilt was just, you know what I mean? He yeah. Fine. No matter what all we did, we just knew. Mm -hmm. And we push him up, it's on. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We just knew it was on like popcorn. All we got to do is just get one of us through the door. It's over with. Come on. We're going to rush it. We're going to rush the door. But uh, we did a lot, man. It was a crazy journey, actually. Kicking it off with that heavy shit is on that I'm serious, <laughs> though, man. That ain't what kicked it off, though. Talk to me. That ain't what, like, like I think... Remember we were recording in uh in twelve oh eight at the uh at the condo. Right. Yeah, you erased my you you remember you you cut off the sixteen eighty and erased my uh when I had my air forces. Oh. So, was, so we had the I song. found the bag. No, you didn't. I, I remade it. it. I remade oh, yeah, it. It okay. never sounded the well, same. Well, look, man. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I had to record y'all, man. Y'all yeah. used to yeah, get on country, my nerve, you know. Yeah. Country used to be country the was engineer. engineer. I used country, to have to record with the making beats and everything. My I God. was making beats. Yeah, yeah he was making uh, beats, too. Country was engineer making beats. Uh, and and we had, what, what, what was one of the songs? What was the song back then? Actually, okay, so the 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 uh, what is it? The the Studio Sixty, eighteen. Um, nah, no. nah, 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 nah. Reggie, about, um, Reggie. You talking 25, about twenty five sixty? Reggie from Hill. Brick, Ben Hill, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, not Butner, uh, yeah, Nisky Lake. Yeah, Nisky Lake. It was all Butner. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Butner and Nisky yeah, right there. Yo, you talking about Bar the, None and all those songs yes, like that? Yes, yes, yes. Bar Who. So I, so we had, so so back when way before. I met KP uh, way before yeah. I met Toon. Okay. Uh, we would, we would, you know, so we we trap through the weekdays and we'll take off Sunday, and that'll be our studio day. Yeah. So everybody put in their paper. We used to go to twenty five sixty studio right there, owned by Reggie. God rest his soul, Reggie from the group Brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the guitar player from That's the right. group Brick. Yeah. And we'll go over there and we'll stay there all Sunday and we'll do a song or two a day. Yeah. And over the course of about four, five weeks, you know what I'm saying? We had about eight, nine, ten songs, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um so that I think that was, you know, the beginning. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all nobody really got to hear those songs though. Well Tope got to hear that was yeah. made that yeah. was yeah. made him come in. Yeah. Well, yeah. We were we were doing our own performances and setting up our own stuff. I remember we opened up for Sammy Sam. Nike Pavilion. <laughs> this is true. Nike yeah, Pavilion, man. Sammy Sam. We was doing shows at Jazzy T's, doing yeah, shows yeah. at yeah. Thanks to Kanye. We was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't, um, he was a president at that time. Well, yeah, nah, you, was, you, he, he was, was my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you he were the first to get a record off. deal. Yeah, yeah. He was I, I, remember, I, remember, I remember me and Sam, me and Sam Sam had rapped against each other one day. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was tense as hell. Nah, I ate him up. <laughs> <laughs> I ate him up. I think we were um, <laughs> that we was, we was in front of um the guy who owned top top twenty records. Yeah. It was a dude, an old dude, man. Um me and Sam was in the in the street rapping. I think I had on that platinum Fubu. Yeah, and uh, Zen Tatum was out there, man. You know what I'm saying? We 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 were busting lyrics, man. Yeah. But I think um went back when 
when me and him was met, um, in Ren's Crossing in Riverdale, yeah, we was just he used to come knock on the door, hey man, kick that burst you kick for, you feel what I'm saying? So it was it was almost like some player shit that was going on, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Did y'all think that y'all was gonna be as big as y'all wound up being, though, man? Or was it a well, hope and a let, dream? Let's start with did we think we would be alive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was yeah. rough. It was rough. That was a gamble every day. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to, me about that. <laughs> Talk to me about that part, just surviving the game. Well, it was a lot going on at the time. Yeah. Uh, we were glad we, was, we were selling dope on Camerton. Yeah. And um and Riverdale. People start getting caught up and uh going to jail, friends or you know what I'm saying? People was you know, murders went down, yeah. all People kind died. of stuff was happening. Allegedly. And we were young. We was at that age where Allegedly. at that age where things are, are taking place. Exactly. And we had to really buckle down yeah. and just kind of stay out the way. So we had some hard days. Yeah. We had some hard days when we were like, all right, we ain't going to go there. We ain't going to go to the trap. Yeah. We ain't going to do that. We just going to sit here, do this music. We're going to put it together. We, we, damn, when it went po' broke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Come you know on. what I'm saying? We had girls stealing out the stoda feeders. You know what I'm saying? We do it all kinds because of those I mean, those times. We, just, houses we really, to live in, we really want, that. we really want to stay together. Yeah, and not, you know what I'm saying? You know, not fall to what's going on outside around us. Exactly. I was, well, already, I was already shot by then. Yeah. yeah, I was. Yeah. I had an already war. Exactly. I was already hit up by then. But then it's I'm serious time. So but I mean, what role? Speak, did... speak, speaking of heavy Chevy though. Yeah. See, I'm a late bloomer with the rapping. Okay. Okay. You understand me? So heavy Chevy, you got something to say? <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm I'm big big on. <laughs> heavy late Chevy, bloomer. listen. Yeah. We didn't have a song on I'm Serious. Mm. We didn't have a song. They Speak made a song. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. I did. <laughs> I mean, they had a song. They had a song. Matt, for, Matt was right. They had a lot of they had, they had a song Speak for, for I'm serious that that was recorded, but it didn't make the CD mm -hmm. at first. Yeah. And I think I made I made a heavy Chevy at Jovan's spot. Mine did. Mine made it. I made <laughs> I made heavy Chevy at Jovan's spot, mm -hmm. and then Tip heard it, and he was like, "Well, we gotta hurry up and record it." So we had to go to Patchwork and record it over. My God. So just to get on the album. When y'all heard y'all selves on a national album too, because I'm going to be real, that was one of those albums, okay, <laughs> that every young nigga felt like, okay, we got something new to listen to. I think at that time I was the only person who could fly with them. For real? Because we went to uh, Jamaica. The you first mean, okay, show. Okay, international. International. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so think one, that of one of the first that shows. That was the Mitchell Power Center or something like that. One of them. Yeah. One of them. Uh, we went to Jamaica. Yeah. And we couldn't. We was always in Jamaica and Miami performing at first. Or mm. Florida. Exactly. My, my first yeah. international one was Come Undertaker. On. Undertaker. Mm. Mm. Okay. Can y'all break that banger down to me? Because that's another one of those ones. Right. Now, what, what, what album was that? King. Was, that was the King album. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Was that the first one? That, that had to be the first one. Bankhead? Nah, well, Bankhead. Bankhead was probably the first one. Bankhead, well, yeah. the first one. Bankhead was the first one. Bankhead yeah. was on the same album. That was the okay. same album. Right? Yeah. King, yeah. You got a Grammy for that stuff, didn't you? Probably something so. like that. Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> man, so like, in the trap me, music you see <laughs> man, so, man, so, give, me, give me my horn I mean, yeah. I mean studio sessions back then though man I mean what was the chemistry like when y'all was coming up with those hits man <laughs> the same way it is now whoever yeah. whoever do what they do you do your part I yeah. do my part if you catch something you like you get on it if not you don't you do start something else and yeah. we just put it in the computer and just go through it you see what I'm saying it's easy like that it's still the same way we can come in the country but nothing did something we like it you feel yeah. it jump on it same way with me draw a tip or anybody we just kind of share the records exactly. you know what I'm saying I feel like it kind of shifted uh, and I and, and rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? Cause at first it was like I was real, real, real focused and real tuned in. Yeah. And everybody else was doing so much and they were distracted. Then it got to a point where they was real focused and tuned in mm. and I'm doing a bunch of shit. Now I'm distracted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we've always had to anchor each other down, yeah. you know, at different times, you know. We had okay. to compensate from one another. When we talk about that anchor though, man, coming out of that era's mm -hmm. the deal and y'all boys is in the streets with it. Okay, backs to the wall, and you saying, okay, we about to goddamn crank this bitch all the way up, man. What was that like when everybody came together and laid the smack down? What, like, well, the when the album? came, nah, mm -hmm. he talks, he, he talking about the industry when, uh, when the first album didn't work. I think it went crazier 
once we got when we I think when we sh- linked in with DJ Drama, yeah, it was like in the streets meets gang. What up, though, Drama? Right. Yeah, yeah. And it got shook up a little bit. It, it yeah. went, hey, you, it went a little crazy. It, yeah. it was a lot of different people having motion at that time. Yeah. So it was, it was us and the motion we were having, drama and the motion he was having. Yeah. Then you had uh, Cannon and Sense and all them like they were That's, having their own, you know. Exactly. And, right. and, and uh, we just kind of collaborated, came together, and it, it, it made for a bigger wave. 